Hi, I'm here today to show you how to create this little welcome page on your Schoology. So I had created a, a summer sandbox course for professional development. One of the teachers asked how I had done that. So I decided I would make a video to share. And so first, before you do this, this is what I have. I've always, not always, but <laughs> I've been working several years and asking students and coming up with things to have at the top of my course page for students. So I've had, you know, the course syllabus, notebook reference pages, which are just pages we put in their notebook for reference. You know, shocking. And some other things that I decided to put up there. Now, I actually have never actually had biology funnies up there. I've only had the first five, but I was making a table and I didn't want a blank right here. So that's what I did. So your first step is to decide what you want on your welcome page. And then your second step is to get pictures. If you want to have pictures, then you should get some pictures. Um, this is my Bitmoji. I did this one on Canva. I mean, that one, literally, I just Googled those two. I don't know where that one came from. But so I downloaded the pictures and already had them saved. Then what you're going to do is you're going to create a folder. There are actually two ways to do this. I'm going to show you how to do it directly in Schoology. Um, the other way you can do it through like Word or something like that with a, a document. So you have to create a welcome folder. And so I have my welcome folder here. I have my biology syllabus. I didn't have a folder for the syllabus because it's just a page. And then I have a folder that the reference pages will go into a page. There's nothing in these folders right now, but it's, they're folders for stuff to go into. And then if we're here, if you click on any of these, then it takes you directly to that empty folder that I was telling you about. Um, since this was a practice course, I didn't actually put anything in there. So to do this, the first thing you're going to do, not the first thing, I don't know what number this is anymore, but after you've created your folder and you've put everything in this folder that you want, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a page. And I actually recommend having two tabs open to your course because I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna copy and paste this link. Well, if I copy it here and then I have to go back and find you know, where to paste it, it's just a big pain in the butt. So have this and then I can just go over here and you know, it's really easy. So I'm gonna create my page and add a page eventually to load and then I'm gonna call this testing because this is my testing one although this isn't a live course anyway so whatever so I have my table I made a, a three by two table and I'm gonna insert my pictures that I have already saved so they're already saved on my computer all I have to do is go and find them which I mean depending on how good you are at where you put stuff Let's see, I saved under Schoology course images. I had a moment where I was thinking through things. So I'm gonna put this one here. I'm gonna resize it, I don't want it that big. And then this is going to be my course syllabus. And then center that. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put all of my stuff in there, but I'm not gonna make you sit and watch me do that. Okay, so I only did these two. I don't really know why, but okay, so I'm gonna select right here. I'm gonna go back to my other tab. So I have my syllabus. I'm gonna select the, in the address bar, I'm gonna copy, and then I'm gonna create a hyperlink, and I'm just gonna paste that link that I just copied in right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my notebook reference pages. So go back to my welcome, and again, this is why I said it would be easiest if you had two tabs open because then you're not having to find everything. It's already open. I may or may not have learned that the hard way. And then you can insert that. I could keep going and do all of mine, but 
this is what you're going to do. You're going to put all of them in there. Now, if you want it to actually show right there, because normally when you create a page, it just has the title of the page. If you want everything on that page, on my pictures, and links to show, then you need to click down here where it says display on a new page. You're going to click it so it displays in line. And then I'm going to click create. Now, if you know Schoology, every time it creates something new, it puts it way down here at the bottom. And so I could have created it up at the top, but I was being an idiot and not doing that. I don't really know why. And I'm just going to sit here while I get it all the way back up to the top. Anyway, put that there. And then you can see if I click here, it'll take me directly to the syllabus that I linked it to. And then I actually had the folder just down at the bottom, so it wasn't in the way. I moved it up to show for the purpose of showing you guys, but I actually had this at the bottom. That way it's not something the students initially click on. I don't see them clicking on a bunch of stuff when it says welcome and welcome again. But so I have that. Um, each of these is just different stuff I'm going to put on there. Um, the Schoology help, I'm going to have things like how to submit an assignment, how to log out of your account if you're on a shared device, the, how to find or how to send messages to your teachers and those kinds of things. The student forms, I have a couple forms. I have them fill out at the very beginning of the year. One of them is a birthday form because I always make sure to give them a happy birthday on their birthday or as close to it as I can. Helpful links and reminders. This is like my Quizlet instructions on how to register for Mine 101, those kinds of things. And then biology funnies, again, I've never actually had that up, but I put that up so I could have, it could be even, I needed it to be even. So that is how you create this little page right here to go at the top so that it's in line with, or so that it's in line, so that all the links are clickable, basically. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can send me a message or just ask in the comments below, I guess. Thank you.